Um, welcome to Clemson. Congrats um, on making it over to Clemson University. As a transfer student, we are going to talk today about transfer student success at Clemson um, and just kind of help you guys with some of the resources that we have available through our office, which is the Transfer Academic Programs Office. We'll get um, into that, as well as some other resources from other departments across campus. So if my computer will allow me, let's go ahead and get started. So for today, oh no, there we go. All right, so the agenda for today, we're gonna to meet the team. Um, we'll introduce ourselves again. We're gonna talk a little bit more about transfer academic programs um, and how this office can be helpful for you in your transition to Clemson during your first semester. Also, we'll talk about some ways to get involved as a Clemson student um, within the academic side and also the social side. Also some resources, um, and we wanna save the last little bit of the presentation for questions um, that you may have. So in the meantime, during the presentation if you have any questions feel free to use the chat box to ask questions um, I'm sure the person that is virtually sitting next to you may have the same question so don't be afraid to ask those um, but we'll also save some time at the end as well and since it's a small group feel free to unmute yourself and ask your questions that way all right so again, my name is Caroline Murray. I'm the Associate Director for Transfer Academic Programs. I'm a Clemson alum as well, um, class of 2014. Um, I was a psych and comm studies, uh, or I majored in psychology, minored in comm studies. I'm a former transfer student myself. I attended Tri-County Tech, which is right down the road from Clemson. My first year, I was a part of a program called the Bridge to Clemson program. So I transferred in during my sophomore year at Clemson um, and graduated in 2014. I'm also from originally from Houston, Texas. So shout out to anyone that is from out of state. Um, and I'll let Rachel introduce herself. Awesome. All right. Good morning, guys. Or I guess almost afternoon, but it's still morning. Um, my name is Rachel. Uh, I am the graduate assistant for transfer academic programs this year. Um, I'm currently here at Clemson uh, pursuing my master's of education in higher education, student affairs. Um, I was born and raised in Virginia, uh, about like an hour outside of Washington, D.C., so more up in Northern Virginia. Um, and went to the University of Virginia, graduated with the class of 2019. Um, I had a major in sociology and a minor in global culture and commerce, which honestly was a really cool combination. Um, and this last year, I was living and working as an English teaching assistant in Madrid, Spain. So now I'm here, very new to Clemson, only got here a few weeks ago, so I'm sure we've at least got that in common. Um, <laughs> but yeah, excited to be here. Very cool. All right. So Transfer Academic Programs, um, we are an office that's located in within the Undergraduate Studies Department. Uh, we're located in Vickery Hall on campus, but we work and collaborate with um, different campus partners um, to provide uh, new transfer students with the resources um, and services, support services, mentoring, uh, just to help your transition into that first semester um, being new as a Clemson student. We want to encourage you to use those resources, but we also want to encourage you to feel um, that you're a part of the Clemson family um, as early in your Clemson career as possible. And so we put on different academic workshops to get those resources out and also social events um, to help every to help the transfer community get together, meet new people, um, and just kind of share your transfer story uh, and get to know one another. So a few things that we offer through transfer academic programs, we do have advising available for the fall semester semester. Um, there are two ways that you can schedule an advising appointment with me. Now, I will say I'm not your primary academic advisor. I'll um, kind of briefly touch over how to find your academic advisor in just a few minutes, but we do offer advising and support services just to kind of help answer any questions or concerns that you have. Um, I kind of like to think of my office as like a one-stop shop where you can come in, ask any questions, and I'll help facilitate you to the correct department or the correct person that you need to speak with. Um, in order to get the information that you need to move forward. So you can email me. Um, my email is located on this slide. Um, we can coordinate a day and time to meet. Right now, it's going to be meeting virtually. Um, hopefully, one day we'll meet back in person. Um, but you can email me. 
You can also use um, CU Navigate, which you might not be super familiar with right now. We'll get into it in just a minute. But um, CU Navigate is located in iRoar, which is your student portal. Um, and if you uh, filter the service to mentoring and support, you'll find our office where you can schedule an appointment with me. And again, we're located in Bakery Hall when we um, go back in person um, just to kind of meet with COVID and university policies and procedures. It is going to be by appointment. Only. So in a normal world, we would have drop-in advising, but this year it is going to be by appointment only. So make sure that you reach out so that if you have any questions, um, we can get together and work through that. Some other services that we offer, and you may have received an email from me maybe a few days ago, a week ago. It kind of feels like a year ago at this point. Um, but at, in, your, in your Clemson email, I sent an email about the Transfer to Tiger Mentor Program, uh, and you can apply as a mentee if you'd like to be connected with a upper class transfer student who will be your mentor for the semester, the semester long commitment, um, where the your mentor is gonna be um, your peer resource. They're gonna kind of help you navigate the social and academic environment here at Clemson. They um, have walked in your shoes being a new student here at Clemson, kind of still navigating that as well, and can definitely be a really great resource as you're learning um, you know, lingo at Clemson, learning where offices or buildings are located, how to reach out to, um, to anyone on campus, your faculty, different departments and things like that. They'll be a great resource to help you. We also, um, I'm a staff advisor for Transfer Council, which is a branch of student government here at Clemson. So um, normally some colleges and universities have one transfer representative, um, but uh, we have a whole branch dedicated to trans the transfer community. So we have about 40 students, um, 40 transfer students that are involved with transfer council. They advocate for transfer students. Um, they put on different social events um, to, to, to get the transfer community together. And it's just a really good time. Rachel will send you, actually, if you don't mind, Rachel, I totally forgot as well. Um, Rachel will yeah. uh, include the mentor program, the Transfer to Tiger mentor program link in the chat feature if you're interested in signing up. And mm -hmm. also Transfer Council's um, new member application. Rachel will throw that in the chat feature as well. And then of course we, our office um, Transfer Appreciation Week is a fun social event that we put on um, during the week, a week in October, October 19th the 23rd this year. We have a lot of fun different giveaways and events for trans the transfer community to come together. We also will be sending out a transformation e-newsletter that will come out the first um, Monday or the first week of every month. Um, and it's just a great way to stay up to date with some of our um, academic workshops, social events, as well as events that are going on throughout campus, some resources, staying up to date um, with campus, you know, return to campus policies, COVID policies, and things like that. So um, be on the lookout in your Clemson Gmail account um, for those transformation newsletters from our office. All right, so perhaps some of these slides, next slides will look familiar to you. If you completed the admission transition module in or at orientation, some of these slides may look familiar to you and it's going to be a great review, um, but if you weren't able to complete the mission transition module at orientation, um, I wanted to be sure that um, that same information was presented during this presentation. Um, just kind of talk about um, some study strategies, um, some tips about connecting with your peer network and your faculty connections, and also some helpful transition tips. So the first one is just joining the Clemson's community of learners. Um, and really what that means is kind of understanding that Clemson has high expectations, um, high academic expectations for transfer students. Um, something that I've heard pretty consistently throughout different convocations and graduation ceremonies, different presentations and talking with faculty and staff throughout campus is that in order to be successful as a transfer student at Clemson, um, you really need to become an effective learner with a growth mindset. In addition, you need to know for transfer students, expect to be challenged, whether you're coming from a two-year or a four-year institution, um, it's, Clemson's going to be a new environment. You're gonna have to adjust um, to the new academic environment as well as social environment here. So expect to be challenged. Um, you might have to work at a faster pace with your studies than maybe at your previous institution. You may have to adjust, um, you'll adjust to a new campus environment, um, just kind of locating your classes, of course, when we're in person. Also navigating online instruction as well, but adjusting to those larger 
and or smaller class sizes um, than maybe what you what you had experienced at your previous institution. And so maybe you also have already established some really good solid time management skills, um, but also to be successful here at Clemson, you need to make sure that you're being proactive with your time management and with some of these strategies that I'll go over in just a few minutes um, in order to just ensure your success here um, as you start at Clemson and continuing that through on, throughout um, maybe the next year or two that you're here um, at Clemson. So some effective learning strategies. Of course, this list could go on and on and on and on, but I just pulled out the top four that stood out the most to me um, and that I've heard pretty consistently throughout campus uh, being important as well. So really identify your learning style um, if you're more of a visual learner maybe versus more auditory, uh, but really kind of identify what your learning style is. Um, the Academic Success Center, which we call the ASC. Um, they are gonna be offering um, academic coaching, which will be virtual for the first couple of weeks um, that we're doing online instruction. But they'll be offering academic coaching appointments where you can learn your different learning styles. Um, you can kind of walk through with an advisor um, about each learning style and how best you fit into those learning styles. Um, and so that's just gonna be really important for you to be successful in your courses here at Clemson um, to understand how you learn and then also maybe some study techniques that fall underneath each of those learning styles so that you're just being successful with your courses this semester and of course throughout your time here at Clemson and definitely creating a study plan um, start that study plan early um, during the first couple of days of classes you'll be learning your syllabus for each of your courses um, your professors should have some of those deadlines for those main projects and assignments that are going to be due this semester go ahead and look at that um, start writing down some of those deadlines and assignments, create your study plan, maybe on a weekly basis, maybe it's on a daily basis, so that you're taking the time each day or each week leading up to that test, leading up to that assignment, so that you're not cramming at the last minute. Um, something that I've heard a lot from faculty as well is if you prioritize your time, and that next one says prioritize important tasks, I know, a lot easier said than done, but you should be able to, um, you should be able to get your coursework done between Monday and Friday and have the weekend to catch up, but also to have that social component of your college experience and to make sure that you are also, in addition to the academics and keeping that as a priority, you're also engaging on campus through different involvement opportunities, um, through different leadership opportunities, and you still have time, kind of like that work um, life balance um, and creating that study plan, prioritizing those important tasks, staying prepared for each class. And I'm not just saying be prepared for each class for each course, but every day be prepared for each class that you'll be attending. Um, that's going to kind of help you um, adjust and balance that work life balance um, that you'll be experiencing uh, during your first semester and obviously through, throughout your Clemson experience. A growth mindset as well. Cultivate a sense of purpose at Clemson. Um, kind of understand the, your why. Um, you know, why are you majoring in this major? Why are you being a business major or a biology major? Um, you know, why are you at Clemson? What are your goals? Set achievable goals, which will help motivate you and help you create that sense of purpose. Um, those goals could be short term, where it's um, your goals are for this semester, or it could be long term, where it could be for the full academic year or for your entire time here at Clemson. But set goals. It'll help keep you motivated and keep you on track with your academics and any involvement that you have outside of the classroom as well. And try different learning techniques. Don't be afraid to try different techniques. Try them out. That's why we always encourage you to learn about your learning style and try different study techniques um, in the beginning rather than trying to cram when um, it's crunch time and the exam is coming up. That way you can get, get a feel for what works best for you and what's working best for that specific course and that teaching method from that professor. Because you may have to adjust your learning style, you may have to adjust your, um, your learning techniques based on your professor and how they're teaching that course. So again, the Academic Success Center is a great way to learn about those techniques through the academic coaching appointment. If you go to the Academic Success Center's main page, you'll be able to view their, um, their available academic coaching appointments and schedule it right on that website. 
And then last but not least, embrace those mistakes and feedback. Um, and that kind of ties in with the last thing that I was just saying as well as learning new techniques. You may have at your previous institution, you would take notes in class and maybe review those notes um, for as a step, as a way of just study for that exam or that assignment or that quiz. But then you are at Clemson and you may you, you stick with that learning strategy, but then you don't get the grade that you thought you were gonna get. Um, embrace that, embrace that feedback. Kind of take that as a moment to say, all right, this is how I studied for this test. What are other ways? How else can I study for this course to better myself for the next exam? And a really great way to do that is one, go to the academic coaching. Uh, schedule an appointment, learn about these techniques, but also, and something we'll mention in just a minute, is connect with your professors in each of your courses. They're going to be the best, um, the, 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 one of the best ways to get feedback about how you're learning and retaining the information, um, and they'll help you kind of get through that course material as well. So embrace those mistakes and that feedback um, that you'll, you'll be learning throughout the learning the different effective learning strategies and growth mindset strategies. Building a peer network um, is really important as well. Making new friends, connecting with your peers inside and outside of the classroom is going to help your, uh, with your transition here at Clemson and help you be successful. Um, making connections is going to look a little bit different at the beginning of this semester. Of course, being in a virtual world, it's kind of hard to look at your neighbor and ask questions, but if you're, um, if you have a Zoom class or or if your class is on zoom or if your professor is uploading different topics in canvas and having an open discussion through canvas then definitely start to add in your thoughts message a friend or message a classmate um, during your zoom call with your professor and and ask some questions and see you know what they're learning from this and don't be afraid to make those connections virtually because making those connections virtually you may be able to build Build a study group with one another um, and you know study for the course virtually and then when you're in person when we're finally in person you have already established a study group you've also gotten to know some of your classmates in the classroom where you feel more comfortable reaching out and talking to them when we do finally go in person and just making a connection that way and engaging outside of the classroom as well it's important to build those social interactions. You can find, Clemson has about 500 plus student organizations and clubs available. Um, one, one of the best ways to find those clubs and organizations is through Tiger Quest. It's an online portal through the Center for Student Leadership and Engagement. It houses every single student organization and club offered at Clemson. Um, and you can kind of filter it based on your interests. Um, but it's a great way to go ahead and get connected with that club and organization. They're actually going to have, I'm not sure if you've gotten an email yet, but Tiger Prowl is an involvement fair that's going to happen on um, August 27th from 5 to 7 and also on September 3rd from 5 to 7 where you can actually um, meet some of the representatives within the clubs and organizations, talk with them, sign up for their interest meetings and get connected that way. And Transfer Council will actually be a part of Tiger Prowl. Um, so if you're interested in joining Transfer Council, you can meet um, some of the rep representatives and the exec board members um, during the 27th and the 3rd just to get some more information if you're interested in joining. So um, that involvement piece is, is important as well. And then of course building your building faculty connections. Um, if you can build and establish a working relationship with a faculty member um, that, like it says, it's going to be a key to your success at Clemson. Um, a working relationship, in order to build a working relationship, you need to meet with that instructor regularly. Um, meet with them often, even if it's just the first meeting, it's just to introduce yourself. We are living in a virtual world. It's hard to walk up to a professor after class these days, but what I would encourage you to do, and um, professors will make note of this uh, on the first day of class and it should be in the syllabus as well, their office hours. They should have the time um, that they'll be available. And of course, it probably will be over Zoom for the first few weeks. So they should have those Zoom links available where you can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your professor. Get to know your professor, introduce yourself. They work with hundreds of students daily. They're grading hundreds of papers. So if you can introduce yourself early um, and keep up with that relationship throughout the semester, when it comes time, if there's a situation or you're struggling, 
you feel more confident and comfortable going to your professor and asking for help um, instead of asking in the very last minute trying to introduce yourself and work through that situation with your professor. If they, can, if they know you and you've established that relationship beforehand, you're just going to be more confident being able to approach your professor when a situation may arise. Um, and then office hours will hopefully turn to in-person in September when we return to campus. And again, engage in those discussions about how to be successful in their course. They are the expert of their course. They should be the go-to point person. Um, if you just want to have that conversation about ways that you should be studying different resources and materials that will help you with that um, course material um, or for their subject. They're going to be the best person to talk to about that and they're going to give you those resources. Um, they're also very helpful with any sort of research topics or um, research projects as well as any sort of career opportunities, maybe a co-op or an internship. They'd be a really great point person also to talk about ways to get involved that's going to help advance your career um, and life beyond Clemson. They are multi faculty are multi-talented, so they can help you with the course, but they can also help you with um, outside of the classroom involvement as well. And they can also help tap into their network um, and kind of help point you in the right direction for whatever your interests or passions may be. So some transition tips. So again, um, you know, your time here at Clemson, it's gonna look a little bit different than at maybe at your previous institution, whether you're coming from a two-year or a four-year institution. Um, just use the available resources uh, that you have available at Clemson just to put your best foot forward and to help you be um, successful during your first semester as well as beyond. So don't be afraid to explore your interests and passions through campus involvement, talking again with your peers and also with your faculty members as well. Don't be afraid to get outside of your comfort zone. Maybe you want to continue something that you were involved with at your previous institution, but don't be afraid to get involved with something that you haven't been involved with before and just kind of explore those different passions and interests that you may have. Another really great resource to use in addition to peers and your faculty is your academic advisor. Each college has an advising center. That, um, that's where you're, you'll meet with your academic advisor. Your academic advisor is going to help you stay on track with your degree requirements. They're going to help you stay on track with your career plans. They're going to be a really great resource to utilize throughout not only your first semester, um, but every semester and from now until you graduate, just to help keep you on track with the coursework that you'll need to take. Um, so don't be afraid to ask for help, all right? Some online resources. Um, you might be more familiar with iWarn. That is your online student portal. That is kind of a one-stop shop, too. You've got access to financial aid and student billing. You have access to your records and registration throughout uh, in iRoar. You probably um, used iRoar this summer to register for your fall classes. So you'll do that again for when you register for your spring classes. You can access your advisor through iRoar. You can access your degree work audit sheet through um, iRoar Degree Works is a way for you to keep track of your degree requirements, courses that you've already taken and transferred in with, as well as courses that you'll need to complete your degree. You can change your major in iRoar. You can add a minor or change your minor in iRoar. Um, it's got a lot of great, really great features that you'll you'll notice you'll be using iRoar a lot throughout the semesters. Also in iRoar, it will take you to CU Navigate. And again, CU Navigate is an online portal where you can schedule advising appointments with your primary academic advisor, but if you are interested in changing your major, you can schedule an appointment with that advisor in that major and talk about the change of major process. You can review the courses that you're coming in with and how it will or how they will translate in that curriculum and talk about the degree requirements that you need in order to complete that, that curriculum. So CU Navigate is attached to iRoar and Canvas is attached to iRoar. So Canvas is your online content access where your, or your online learning management system where your professors will be uploading all of the course materials, the content, 
um, any assignments, quizzes, exams, things like that will be uploaded through Canvas. Again, they could potentially have those open discussions um, in those courses where you can chat with your professor and chat with your classmates. Um, so you'll be using Canvas um, throughout the semester to just keep up with your courses. And I also like to point out the Clemson Course Catalog, which is an online database where that houses every course that's offered at Clemson. Um, it also shows every curriculum with every major that's offered at Clemson. So it's just a really great resource to use if you're wanting to look ahead at some classes that you may want to take in the spring. If you are interested in changing your major, you can look at the courses that you have previously transferred in with or taken and how it will translate to that curriculum. All that really good stuff, it's located in the Clemson course catalog as well. And I believe you can also access that through, through iROAR. Some additional campus resources. We've talked a lot about the Academic Success Center. Again, it's also called the ASC. Uh, they have a lot of tutoring services, academic coaching. They have a writing center. So if you um, need help with a paper, then I would highly recommend going to the writing center so that you can get anything corrected, um, polished before you submit it. They also have access to different workshops throughout the semester. One of the workshops that's through our office, um, we will have one in September, September 1st from 5 to 6, and September 9th from 5 to 6. It will be virtual, so it will be held on Zoom. It's called Academic, or Achieving Academic Success as a Transfer Student. You can go ahead and register for that workshop on the Academic Success Center's website, as well as any of the other workshops that are available. The Center for Career and Professional Development, the CCPD, is the career center here at Clemson. There will be all sorts of career fairs. There are, um, they help with resume cover letter reviews, mock interviews, uh, how to search for full-time, part-time internships, co-ops, you name it. But they also have um, access to take career assessments. So if you are kind of thinking about like your purpose here at Clemson, maybe your major, what do I, where do I see myself post-graduation? Taking a career assessment can kind of help you align your interests, your personality, your skills, and it will help you focus on different occupations and potential majors to help you get to where you want to go um, after Clemson, beyond Clemson. So the, or the um, Center, for uh, Center for Professional Development, they're located in the Hendricks Center. They also have a lot of really great online resources during this time as well. We've touched base on the academic advising, but again, each college has their own advising center, so seek out your primary advisor if you have any questions regarding your transfer credits or if you have any questions regarding your degree requirements as well. The Gantt Multicultural Center has a lot of really great community dialogues, the LGBTQ programs and multicultural programs to get involved, as well as Healthy Campus and Psychological Services, which is known as CAPS on campus, so it's Counseling and psych Psychological Services. A lot of really great wellness initiatives and support, as well as counseling services um, to help you get through maybe stressful situations um, and just to go talk to someone as well. The Center for Student Leadership and Engagement, we briefly mentioned this earlier, but if you have any questions about how to get involved in student organizations and clubs, you can use TigerQuest, but you can also contact the um, Center for Student Leadership and Engagement, and they'll help connect you with different um, organizations and clubs. Also, if you're interested in um, connecting with the military and veteran community here at Clemson, um, their office is located in the Undergrad Studies Department as well. They're in Vickery Hall. They have a veteran center, but they also have a lot of other opportunities to get involved within the uh, military and veteran community. And also, we wanted to mention the FIRST programs, which is um, for first-generation students. They have a really great mentor program, as well as some workshops and tutoring services available through their office, which is also located in Vickery Hall within the Undergrad Studies Department. Um, and they also have a really great student lounge over there as well. So that's a, a great way to get connected. All right, so uh, just ways that you can contact us. Again, there's our emails um, and our office number. Um, definitely during this time, uh, you probably get a faster response to be truthful if you send us an email. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out. You can also follow us on social media. We are on Instagram at Transfer2Tiger. You can keep up with all of the latest information from our office, events, workshops, things like that. You can also follow Transfer Council on Instagram, uh, CUSG Transfers. 
and also on Facebook. You can follow us at Clemson Transfer Students and then also Clemson University Transfer Council on Facebook.